Good afternoon, everybody. Today we're going to be doing a short little review on the Reptile Expo that just took place January 28th in Mississauga, Ontario. I was so excited for this expo. We left at 6 in the morning. The vendor list was awesome. 24 minutes away. Yes. I found out the staff were really, really nice. They got us in as soon as they could. The line moved super quick. They were all friendly. Have your QR codes ready, please. Media presence was really awesome. Like, I knew what was going on. I knew what I was going to see kind of before I got there, which is what I like. I love to be planned. So we were trying to get around quick, check out every booth before it really got busy. I know there's a lot of reptile consumers that were looking to buy. These animals go super quickly. I learned that. So it took us about two hours, and by the end of the two hours that we were done walking around, a lot of all these animals that you're about to see were gone. There was a lot of different prices. There was a lot of different vendors. I've mainly seen a lot of crested geckos, bearded dragons, and pythons. Pythons were going from $20 all the way up to, I seen a $2,700 one. This little black snake was the spookiest thing I've seen there. I did find it very interesting how people were also collecting ants. I didn't know you could buy ants in like little condos for them, but that is very interesting to me. Yeah, just lots of big selection. I found the environment to be super clean as well. They had like a main bathroom. They were clean. I checked out the one on the outside and that was clean as well. Now I wanted to see a little bit more shows, perhaps, if there was shows. Um, they had a big projector going in the back with a, like a video on it, but I couldn't really hear what it was saying. There wasn't really like chairs set up to watch it. So I think it'd be more beneficial in like the food area, which is what I'll show you guys. Um, but this is like the main selection of what they have, what I'm just showing here in the back. This is a sign that was posted because the Animal Welfare Service was there. Now they were walking around in their bulletproof vests and everything, making sure boots were fine, animals were being kept good, so that was nice. For the whole expo, they did have one main feeder table. Um, they, these are some spiders you could buy. But I did think that was a bit interesting about how this whole event, you could only buy feeders from one table. Maybe they should have another one, but I get this. I don't know, maybe they didn't have one come forward. But I did think maybe they should have another one that carried a different selection so the line wasn't so big at the main table. Can't really complain about the food. It was pizza, pizza. Pretty decently priced as well, I found. Um, but yeah, the projectors definitely should have been up in here, maybe. After about two hours, it got super busy, so we ended up leaving because we've seen what there is to see. Uh, for $18, though, each, it was pretty worth it. I definitely recommend it. That's all for me today, guys. Thanks for checking it out. Thanks for watching. This is actually one of my first videos as the new Back to Nature rebrand I'm doing, so thank you for checking it out. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. See ya. Bye. Have a good day.